Hey there guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And in today's video, we're talking about the Facebook password leak. I know I'm a little late to the situation, but yeah. So if you don't know, Facebook had a breach, or they <clears throat> breach, where over 500 million users' personal information got leaked, including phone numbers and emails, which is bad. So I'm going to show you this website called Have I Been Zucked. I go do, all you do is go to your browser and type in have have I been zucked I'll have to blur that whatever I just had up there anyway have I been zucked and you type in your phone number which my phone number is already public so I don't care if it's shown in the video um, except uh, yeah the, okay hold on the mobile version works better but yes so, I haven't been sucked, which is amazing, but what about my email? So, all I gotta do now, I'm pretty, yeah, so guys, my, this email's been deleted, so, if I ever lose my Facebook password, I'm screwed. Nice, see, so my stuff hasn't got leaked, but yours might be, you might be getting a lot of spam calls now, so, I'm also gonna show you some ways to secure your Facebook account and just good internet safety in general because you know you can't you can't go wrong with internet safety okay guys so this is the Facebook's security login screen to get to the screen all you gotta go is click the little account button settings and privacy settings and then security and login now I recommend having a password with six at least six characters with some kind of symbol so like asterisk, at sign, money sign, star, with a numbers at least. So all three make a good password. You need more than six, but you should at least use six. My recommended is eight. Um, so yes, never use anything personal. Um, never use anything guessable. Just use a password generator. Use LastPass or something. They're pretty good. But, there's also other things you should set up, like two-factor authentication. Now, I recommend using the authentication app instead, because it is, for one, more secure, and, you know, it's just a lot better. So, I, right now, I'm blurring most of my screen and half of my QR code, because you guys could get access to my account if I didn't. So this is an app called 2FAS Auth, right here. And it is really good. It's free. You should totally go and get it. Alright. So all I gotta do is scan the QR code. And then boom. Facebook. Already has my name and everything. And then pretty much, you're set. I would not recommend using a phone number because somebody could just get your SIM card and there you go they got your access to your verification which is not good also do not use the same password for another website unless you don't care about it I use the same password for websites that I don't care about like maybe I'm using this website for one time only I'll use a password that I don't care about but I also recommend using a recovery code and keeping it in a safe stored in your room. You can buy a cheap safe, like from like a dollar store, like something small, put paper in, just fine. The problem with that is if somebody has access to that safe, you're very vulnerable. So be careful with that. What else I would turn off in the settings would be like, you know, your Facebook information. This is stuff that you will have to set, like activity log, you know, blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that, like you want your post to be public or friends only. Mine's public because this is a public account, so that's why mine's like that. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop a subscribe, click the bell, share this with your friends, and don't forget to just have a good day. Peace.